Everything was buffering all the way up until it was Skyrim and done. SK Dale. Until it was done. Yeah, I'm not like sure I did it on my computer, I did it I, I did it on both my parents' laptops and my phone yeah, and my right. Xbox and it was just buffering all the way up. The players are so good at not being right. salty. Okay. Hey, okay. Rock, Santa, or not Santa, oh my gosh. See, this is why I can't commentate. What? <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know. Damn, come on. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Alright, alright, alright. So, welcome to Nebraska Pokin's most famous match between these two because they always <laughs> meet in bracket. Uh, oh my gosh. Long. Nice. Nah, he tried, he tried. Oh my <laughs> gosh, yep. <laughs> Slam working out. I get copied that all the time too. Ooh! Nice! So that that mainly worked because um, the release X has um, uh, it basically ducks right on the startup, so since uh, Machamp did a Oh wow! Uh, since he did an 8 wide, it uh, basically only gets high. So, all right, Escadale taking the first uh, first round there. So, if anyone knows, how come Sorry Tag doesn't use Chandelure anymore? Um, he still uses it, but it's only on certain matchups. I he definitely would not trust that against Garchomp because um, I believe he knows that Escadale is pretty well trained in the uh, Shandy matchup, or at least for Sorry Tag's uh, Shandy. So, uh, he usually relies on other characters for SK Dale. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. He had Sceptile on me and then switched to Mewtwo last round. Oh, Alright, alright. <laughs> Quickest round from them, I think. <laughs> or games, I guess. Alright, no changes. Game two. I think, like, I, I, I was saying, I wish I could be as, you know, like, happy about not losing, losing, like, you know, they play so much. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting, I will say. Um, you know, playing, um, Pokken for, uh, such a long time, and, like, that being my first, like, competitive game, there were moments where I got really invested in my results and stuff, and I got very butthurt about, yeah. um, you know, doing poorly. But honestly, like, something kind of sort of clicked, and it was easier just to kind of take what I get and try not to get so caught up in the losses. Um, and that's honestly made me experience a lot better. So. Um, Nightshade, also, what where is Fumu? Is um, Nightshade, this is Fumu. I am here. Uh, <laughs> Alright, pretty close game between these two right now, though. I'm in the corner. Nice. That um, first game is always maybe the quickest, and then as each player learns to recover, uh, it gets longer and longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these two do exercise a lot of adaptation, um, so it's, it's really good to see. You know, Sir Spud always kind of gushed over their uh, their neutral and how how good it is. Oh, nice. Before the Frogadier even hit. Wow. No worries, Nightshade. You're fine. Oh, pocket sand. Yep. He pulls the same stuff on me, and Machamp is the only character who can perfect block in dual phase is broken. What is it, perfect block? <laughs> so there's a technique in the game that is universally available in field phase called perfect block, where basically if you shield at just the right time against a hit, you negate the shield stun, so you can act instantly. Oh, so you don't so. get any, like, uh, not so much the chip, but just more so you're not um, basically stuck to where you'd be uh, either punished or stuck blocked. Oh. So like um, the easiest um, method is against uh, burst activation, 
So when you declare your burst, um, it does a wave, and you can actually perfect block it because it does a single hit. Oh. So it's it's really nice tech because now you can unexpectedly get close to your opponent uh, faster than they were anticipating, and sometimes even punch you. Nice use of the burst armor there for, against the frog, because frog will only launch if three of the hits uh, connect. That was so good. Yeah, he's waiting to get the burst out of the way. Yep. No, he tried. He tried. That's okay though. Didn't carry into animation, so we're fine. Oh no, he didn't block. No. Man, he could have just like bursted, bursted right there and would have been fine. Now, he doesn't want to burst against the corner because that's the one situation where, uh, universally, he can be punished. Um, Here, thank you. Uh, nice, okay. So, was that the setup and combo he was working on, or...? Uh, I mean, yeah, like, he, he, he does frog the Woo! Wow, wow! When the player is on the ground. Well, yeah, that's that's usually his uh, blockable setup. Um, I just I wasn't sure if he didn't carry into like say the the burst for damage or if it was for swag to most. And the combo he he has been working on it's uh, it he says it's opened up more doors instead of having to just hold X like oh, he gotcha. does all the time. Mm -hmm. That's good though. I found. Um, Trying to hold a charge X is near impossible, but I also <laughs> play it on the character who has the worst one, uh, just because it takes the longest to charge. That's why I never use flop, is it just takes way too long to charge. Oh, is that where he just like plants on the ground? Uh, he flips up and then. And then goes yeah, and, yep. So it's, it's a good anti air, but it's just very, very difficult to use personally. Hey, Fuma, make sure. Oh, he Jesus. Okay, Zephyr, we'll do. Jumped over. This is gonna be a bad position. Did not working out for him. Man. Um, it depends. So, like, uh, I know I don't know offhand the anti-projectile moves for Machamp, but uh, using Blaziken as an example, you can actually use his jump Y to uh, just eat up all of the volley shots from Frog. Oh. So, or uh, Tetsu, um, not Tetsu, but uh, Tatsu, um, Tatsumaki, which is uh, Blaziken's uh, back Y in yeah. field. Um, where he does the tornado kicks. Oh, oh, that yeah. also anti projectiles, and I can eat through Frogadier. So if there's something with anti projectile properties, then it works out. That was a really good snag with a burst. Ooh. Ooh. What do you mean? What, what, which player? Uh, uh, this is Dave. Okay. Uh oh. Closer to you. Yeah, ah. I wasn't sure. Come on. Should be alright. Oh no. Oh god, yep, that might spell death. Yep. How can you get those if you can't even see him? Um, <laughs> it generally throws him in the uh, up above. And that move that he's using does hit on all angles around him. Oh. It's just when he tries to do pocket sand afterwards, it only goes forward. So yeah. if the cross-up happens and he doesn't catch it, that's where it will go. Oh, this guy is I hate the background, so let's... Oh my gosh! So far he's getting the perfect... Oh, 
Got some decent dis me. distance to it. No, oh, just barely missing that. All right, all right. Slide him into the corner. Little frog set up. Yep, he's gonna do that. Yep. Oh, that that was close though. Uh, had that been like any frames later, um, he probably wouldn't gotten hit by frog. Yo, oh, wow. This man. He's gotta be careful though. He can't do the burst as close to the wall. Oh, that's gonna do it. It's not gonna kill. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's gonna kill. Guaranteed. Alright, that's a bracket reset. 3-0. Okay, I'll momentum right now. So, uh, it's up here. Yeah. Oh, that's not the end. Okay. Because they just reset. Because, um, <laughs> I was like, wow, he just, uh, he's, he's, he's been wanting to beat Kevin and. Except for the reset. Ah. Is that 9.50 already? Yep. Holy crap. Ugh. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be going into our uh, Grand Finals reset. Um, I guess I'll take the moment to kind of talk about some upcoming uh, things with Nebraska Pokémon. Uh, this weekend, uh, Saturday, is actually going to be our monthly event. Um, that is going to be a, um, it's our usual monthly for the month, but this one does have a special prize for the winner. Um, NorCal Pokin put up a $500 travel voucher to NorCal Regionals, so whoever wins is going to get that, uh, uh voucher. If that player is not able to attend, then it passes down to second, and then third, and then fourth. If it doesn't, um, if none of those four players can attend, then, um, the, uh, the voucher is, uh, forfeit. But, um... Yeah, so high stakes. Um, honestly, I do think either SKDL or Sky Racing is definitely going to take it. Um, so it'll be exciting to get one of those players out to work out regions and see how they do. So, but into Grand Finals reset here. Ooh, able to get off the fully charged homing against the uh, scary face just in time. Got this pressure in the corner. Uh, Sky Racing able to turn that around, but Dig's going to try to pump things back. He's going to get a scary face off, which is going to hinder a little bit uh, here in field. But I think it's yeah, it's already gone. All right, Frogadier coming out, trying to get out of it, but unfortunately set himself back into it. But kind of messed up the combo, so through uh, Sky Racing. No. On good momentum here. Ooh, ooh. Nice, nice. Very good mix up. That'll actually allow him to take the round. SK Dale doing some uh, really good options here and on some really good momentum. Yep, turn around, get him in the corner. Alley oop, that's all right. Good option for it. Um, excuse me. Uh, why do I question anything that Machamp does anymore? He's broken. All right, he's, he can't burst and field unless Skyrazen commits to something. So I understand why he wasn't activating burst there. There he goes, okay. One, four, five. Trying to bump back, waste some uh, meter here. Oh, caught him. Yup. It's not going to kill, but we're going to see some really good damage off of this. Put him in the uh, health advantage for sure, but it's still really close. Two power characters. It's not going to take it too terribly long to finish this. Um, not sure where I was going for that, but didn't get punished with a frog. Nice. Good punish. Really good combo. 
up against the wall. I don't know if he'll be able to finish it. No. Nope. Gotta be careful. This is Machamp we're talking about. Frog. Oh no! The frog sealing the deal. Alright, so Sky Racing is gonna go ahead and uh, take the round, pushing it to final round here of game uh, Uno. Good option there from uh, Sky Racing to focus on uh, making sure that the Synergy Nugget was not obtained by um, SK Dale. Going for the burst. Ooh, I think he tried to do a release X. That's unfortunate. But he's still got plenty of health. He's um, going to be set down to roughly half. Homing attack going to come through for Sky Raisin. Oh, no. Up against the wall. We're going to see a lot of damage there. Ooh, game showing some mercy. Down to one. Yep. Yep, that was definitely a setup. There wasn't much that he could do. So Sky Racing is going to take the first game of the reset. All right, end of game two here. We're going to see what happens. Committing to the uh, charge homing allowed him to at least get the guard break. But honestly, um, Sky Raisin didn't generate that much synergy, so there really wasn't much lost for Sky Raisin just still taking that block. Ooh, quick grab. That hurt. Oh, he did try to do a backdash expecting something there. Oh, no. Okay. Denied the perfect. Nice. Good timing. No, he messed it up. Nice. Okay. Okay. We're back in the swing here. He's got to be really careful with his options. Oh, okay. The fake out. No! no he did that way too early. I, I bet that was missing, but... Your fingers to button to button. Oh, nice. All right. Just curious if he's going to miss that opportunity. Keep the pressure going here. Ooh, snuff up the counter. Nice. All right. See some good damage. Ooh, a crit grab. Oh, okay, okay. So I like that option because even though he did get bopped by the uh, the volley, it interrupts um, or interrupted the pressure that Sky Racing was attempting to put on. So I, I really like that. Oh, oh, nice. Just getting the timing. I don't see this. Uh, well, it could kill. Despite the uh, synergy defense. Oh, okay, okay. Game showing some mercy. Oh, come on. Game come showing mercy. <gasps> oh. oh! Oh, nice! Car chomp just zipping on up there. Let's get the I pizza cutter. Oh, good punish, good punish. Oh no! The first uh, hitbox of um, right right dig. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have any hits done. Ooh. Grab by the head. Yeah. Oh, 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 nice. Nice, okay. Throw it back in the field Ooh. into the corner. Oh, really meaty grab there. So, what do you mean by meaty grab? So a meaty is basically yeah. So like it's it's a move that you time to cover a, someone's uh, wake up. So really, why that, that wasn't really a meaty, but basically what I meant by that term is he had um, done it early enough 
to where it would have still connected if he continued blocking. They both backed up like no way. What? So what? I guess I guess Crouch Out be beats Dig. That's that's the only thing. Oh! Hey! Just smack face. Is this going back and forth, back and forth? Well, let's hope it doesn't. Because <laughs> Fuma's sick at home, and I kind of sort of need to get him. I know, right? <laughs> Gosh darn it, guys. T.O. Fee, I'm picking your winnings. It doesn't do damage. All it does is um, apply yeah. the debuff and uh, ooh, okay. right at a wrong time. You can backdash that. But, but you're against the wall. Yes. Uh, backdash has iframes on it. It's a very small window, so you have to time it insanely well. very used to the timing and some characters do have yeah. anti-prog tech so like i don't know if you oh. noticed it in your match against all those to zero all weavile has to do is taunt so it it that actually made me stop using um, frog in that matchup because they could just so easily counter it so is Amolga better? Amolga tends to work um if they try to taunt the Amolga, it just breaks the counter uh frames um, but if they activate taunt and then the Amolga goes through, uh, then they still have their taunt iframes. So, most of the times, yes, Amolga is good. The only downside is they can 2x Amolga. They're one of the very uh, few characters that can super low that attack. So, generally, better than this, but uh, Amolga can. The only reason I chose, I put because it hits twice. Mm -hmm. um, Frog's great. Frog is honestly a very, very good support, and it's great for uh, veterans and beginners. Um, just because you get to learn so much in regards to frog combos for your character, um, as so expertly shown here by these two. Um, but then also beginners can use Eevee um, very, very well, because getting health and attack buff is never bad. Oh no! Okay, this is all right. It's gonna force a phase shift, and he's not gonna be punished, um, mainly because it was mid, so it was okay. It's unfortunate, but it worked out. All right, now he's got that rage damage coming through. No block in time. Go for a grab. Okay, okay, I can respect it. He's gonna get some health back that did knock him out of rage. Nice. Okay. Up on the wall. No. Okay. For unblockable setup. Oh, oh, oh no! no! That could have been amazing for him. Yeah, I don't think that'll do it. But he's got a frog setup of his own. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, the grab. Yep. No. So it's. Uh, it's two one right now. Because. What's unfortunate about that setup, too, is uh, SKDL um, could have 8 wide, but the Frogadier would have came right on back. I think the only loss he would have taken, though, because Sky Raisin wouldn't have air attacked in time, uh, would just be Sky Raisin getting an Oki setup, and that was it. But even then, it would have been at some very long distance, so, like, 8 wide wouldn't have been terrible. Right, Sky Raisin quick with, with the reactions there. That's punishable. Oh no, not the right option. Or maybe he got tipper distance, I don't know. I don't think there was tipper distance on that. Oh. He's gotta be careful though, that shield looking crisp bait. Oh no, why does he keep canceling that? I thought I could have swore he had a longer combo on that. 
Yeah. Oh no, wait. Uh, Skyrim messed up his combo there. Yeah. Double wake up slap, this man. Oh no, that's it, that's it. Alright, Skyrim is an on set point here. See if Dale can uh, try to push it for game five. Punish the bulk up. Okay, so that's why he keeps going for the jump uh, jump Y and field right away, because it does punish bulk up. Nice, get the counter frames in time. Bonk. Sometimes the best defense against Frog is your own Frog. Ooh, got him, yep. I'm not sure if he was going to get that or not. Oh, nice, okay, catching the vulnerable frame. Uh, Charger Synergy. So he's really, really close to his Synergy Gauge, um, and that move uh, does get a fair amount of Synergy for him, so... Nice, okay, yep. He needed that, get some health back. Oh yes! that's what he needs health. But what? That, that's okay. This is okay. He's gonna be down to three, but he's not gonna be able to punish this. I'm gonna go for the frog again. No, what are you doing? That's okay. Oh. The frog made it safe. That that was a tricky setup, but the frog made it safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sky Ray isn't getting the nuggets. He's going for these uh, stone edges. Deny the perfect. Try to turn things around. Get him in the corner. <laughs> oh, no, nice. Okay. No yeah, we're going to see some good damage there. Yep, yep, yep. Good stuff. Oh, no. That's going to do it. Dig is a light, ladies and gentlemen. Dig is a light. <laughs> what? A light? Ooh. I am going to absolutely abuse that.